Hello everyone! In this video, we will learn how to check the approximation model accuracy and compare several models in P7. First, we will consider general idea of model validator and model explorer. Then, I will introduce the demo class and show how to use capabilities of model validator and model explorer in P7 step by step. Let's begin with introduction. Model validator is a tool to estimate model accuracy and compare models. It allows to test models against reference data and find the most accurate model using error plots and statistics. Model validator can show two kinds of plots. Changed using the plot selector on top, scatter plot directly compares reference sample outputs with model predictions. Quantile plot default is useful to analyze error distribution. The sample selector changes the source of reference data used for model validation. If training is selected, reference data is the model's training sample. If test is selected, reference data comes from the test sample. Independent test sample required in this case. If internal validation is selected, both reference and prediction data are read from the model's internal validation results. There are different metrics to estimate model accuracy. Best metric values are highlighted. R2, the coefficient of determination, is the most robust metric. Values closer to 1.0 are better. For other metrics, lower values are better. Note that despite scalar accuracy, metrics are used for fast checking of model quality. It's always better to check error distribution. Model Explorer is a tool designed to help in analysis of multidimensional models. It allows to study input-output dependencies by plotting a series of two-dimensional slices, each showing an input-output pair. Let's consider the capabilities of Model Validator and Model Explorer in the following example. We created approximation models to predict mass, displacement, and stress of high-speed rotating disk obtained in finite element simulation model for various geometry configuration. Disk geometry is described by four radii, R1, R2, R3, R4, and two thicknesses, T1 and T3. We used a 200-point uniform DOE plan. Approximation models building was in details considered in previous video. Now let's see how to compare and choose best approximation model using Model Validator in P7 Analyze. We will start on the Analyze tab with nine data series in the report database. They are six input geometry variables and three outputs for mass, displacement, and stress. To validate the models, let's use the existing approximation models to predict function values for the values of variables from a test sample. The test sample can be prepared beforehand, stored in a file, or generated by the workflow itself. In the second case, we can use a randomly generated train and test samples from initial dataset. Let's select the dataset and click Split Data button from the Data Series pane menu. By default, only one is considered as output, and we can set the others one by one. Set training ratio in percent, for example, 80 to 20. It means that training sample will be 80% of initial data set, and test sample will be 20% of initial data set. Select random splitting method and click Create button. Now data sets are in the list. We will use a test sample prepared beforehand. Let's import test sample from external CSV file. Click Import Data on the toolbar. Select the file location. And click Import. Now we have independent test sample and can validate the approximation models. Let's select the models and also select test data on the data series pane. And click Model Validator button on the Report toolbar. In Model Validator, you can use the Models pane to add, remove, or reorder models. Select the outputs to validate. Change plot colors. Hide or show models on plots. The selectors above the plot switch plot type. Calculated error type. And type of data used in validation. The table at the bottom shows error metrics. On the quantile plot, each plot shows the fraction of sample points for which errors are lower than the value on the horizontal axis. A steeper curve is better. It means the error value is lower for a larger fraction of points, probably with the few outliers that form a long tail on top. 
By default, the quantile plot and error metrics are based on absolute error values. Using the error selector, you can switch them to normalized error. Normalized error is useful for estimating error significance considering the output value range. The source of reference data used for model validation can be training sample, test sample, or internal validation. It is recommended to use a test data sample when possible. Test sample validation shows models' ability to predict outputs for new input values that were not involved in the training of the model. Training sample validation tends to overestimate model accuracy. Low errors on the training sample, steeper error quantile curves can actually be a sign of overfitting, especially if the same model shows significantly higher errors on a test sample. If holdout test data is not available, it is recommended to switch to internal validation. This data is obtained from cross-validation tests that run while building the model. Let's set test sample. We can see the smart model is better than the RSM. Error metrics demonstrate this visually. We can remove an unnecessary model. And begin to analyze the smart model with P7 Model Explorer. Let's consider the Model Explorer capabilities. We can hide the Model Validator pane from the workspace. Now select the model on the Model plane and click Model Explorer button on the Report toolbar. Maximize the window. On the Model pane, we can add and remove models, reorder them, set model colors, and show or hide models on the plots. If a model provides accuracy estimation information, accuracy evaluation curve can also be displayed on slices by enabling it in the AE column. The sliders below this pane set coordinates of the original point, the point where all slices intersect. This point is also marked on the slice plots. Slice plots, in addition to model curves, display bars that show how much an output is influenced by an input. Selected approximation model can be exported in any convenient format. Let's see how to export the model for standalone application. P7 provides several different formats for model export, for instance, MATLAB, Octave, C source code, FMI, and other. We saved the models in Excel format in previous video. Now let's select the Octave code. That's it! Thanks for your attention and goodbye!